what's up everybody? I know it's been a while, but check this out. We got something going on with the Ugly Duck Jeep. Let's go on and check it out. Um, 704 2 LS. Say it again? 704 2 and LS. Wow. Um, I don't know. Everybody has a 4060. It's the same thing. Yeah. But when I put this together, I didn't buy the Terminator Max. So it doesn't have a trans controlling ECU. Okay. So I went with the 704 um, full manual valve body. Full manual valve. Okay. So what is uh, the biggest, not complication, but it's, I guess. For me, get, it's a TV cable. Let's just get to it. It's a TV yeah. cable. So we had uh, Lucky stop by yesterday and give us some knowledge on cable angles and geometry. And um, this is what we ended up coming up with. This was a bracket, some scrap metal we had laying around from some other project. And it happens. Just bolted it to the heads. Okay. Yeah, just put some holes in it. And he gave it a little fancy little angle here. So and, rewinding uh, though, we bought you bought this kit or this bracket from somewhere. Yeah, this is from 18 Performance, and I thought it might work with this. But if you put the TV cable on top. You'll get the angle with the be, wrong pole. Okay, so see that? Yeah. yeah, if you put it here, that angle, you never would achieve the right angle. So, so we still use our, that, which is cool. Yeah, it works great for the throttle cable, but for uh, the TV cable, it's got to pull the opposite direction of the throttle cable. So this wow. is our fix. And it came powder coated. It did come powder coated. <laughs> Scrap metal. Scrap metal already powder coated. Um, Clearance is a little close here, but we're just barely, barely touching. We'll so what does it look like drive. when the throttle moves? Give me. Yeah. I mean, to, I guess it is here, let's hard to demonstrate. Here. So as the throttle pulls here, it's going to push there, yep. pull on that one. So that'll work. Yeah. So we still have to do some fine tuning and adjustment <coughs> driving around, but yeah. That's so, and if you don't do this, if you don't hook this up right, the TV cable, you will just burn up your trans and yeah, I've never in your it, but I've in your test you, drive. You can blow things up nice. in your test drive. What this matters more for us, since we're running a full manual valve body, is it's it's only controlling shift pressure, not shift points, because I will be selecting the gear at my time and choosing. So basically, all this is going to do, in theory, is make it shift hard when I'm hard on the gas, or make it shift soft when I'm soft on. The gas. So you're going to be hard on the gas all the time. Yeah, so <laughs> we don't really need it. <laughs> Let's see this. Uh, so that means you had to get a new shifter. Yeah, so we installed Let me walk around here. Before, which is uh, Winter's, uh, I think it's Winter's Brothers Racing Sidewinder. Oh, yeah. So it's pretty rad. So where's, where's actual first? First is down at the bottom. So, okay, so it's, okay. Remember last time we took the backwards, not did, backwards, but because of, there was a shortness on order, so I ordered a uh, reverse manual valve body. Oh, gotcha. And I just used it the wrong way, but it worked. So now you better just slam it from gear to gear. Yeah. So it's be as simple as just cruising along. What's that number after three? Four. <laughs> I haven't had that in a while. Had overdrive. <laughs> so you better cruise the freeway. Yeah. Awesome, dude. I'm looking forward to being able to go on the freeway. Cool. We've got a new drive shaft made. Some drive oh yeah, shaft let's jump through. underneath and yeah, see if you can get under them. <clears throat> so this is our um, cross member, real budget, um, but hopefully stout. This is one eighth uh, box steel. Yeah. So are the tabs? We did some welding to reinforce. Nice. And we went straight to the frame this time. Why'd you do that? Because last time I welded these tabs to the frame and they left the bar loose and it was a pain to get out. Oh, you can get it out. That's right. The exhaust is clearance and you can only push this trans up about another half inch or so before it hits the body. So, so this trans actually ends up being a little bit longer by a yes. couple inches, right? I think it's like three inches longer. Okay. So we got the super stout drive shaft pro. Yes. Uh, drive shaft. Major upgrade from drive we, shaft pros. I forget. Um, the U joints, but it's the big U joint. Oh, you got the beefy U joints. Yeah. You got a beefy um, spline, right? Yeah, it's whatever. It's the I Ford Explorer yoke. one. I said spline. One. I meant yoke. 
Oh yeah, that's way beefy, dude. The whole diameter is way thicker too. Yeah, it's about, I don't know, I think it's a, is it a two inch tube? It's a three inch tube or something like that? Yeah, it's pretty big. When I ordered it, I told them made it, make it so it doesn't break. Yeah. So hopefully, yeah, that all, won't be the weak all point. what, 12 inches of this? Yeah. So it doesn't break? He said we shouldn't have a problem with the 400 horse, and then I told him, well, if we put that Pro Charger and the yeah. Torque Storm on, then. If not, we'll just bring him back all the pieces and he can weld it back together. <laughs> So yeah, I think it came out pretty good. We got a new uh, billet torque converter too. Oh yeah, billet torque converter. What's uh, the stall? It's 3000 stall. Oh. And I'm hoping that with that stall and this lightweight, it just, it's a rocket. I just want to be able to burn tires from a dead stop. Nice. I'm sure and you then, will, uh, dude. If you pan over to where you're at. Oh yeah, let's see. This little Jigs trans cooler. It's like 120 bucks. We're in the process of getting those dialed in right now. We had to get some new fittings for it. Oh, uh, we had to put it out here because there's not much room yeah. under the small frame and your exhaust. This way, if something lets go, like a drive shaft or rock bounces up, I hope it'll yeah. keep that in the clear. It's not bad. And then, yeah, if it doesn't, then we'll figure out a new spot So get it. that all mounted up. Yeah. You still got clearance on top. You know, just have it suck. Suck air down. Yes. Very cool. It's away from the exhaust, so hopefully it should keep things a little cooler. Yeah, that looks good, dude. And then uh, we just need to put oil in this thing and get those trans cooler lines wired up. Put yeah. this side of the exhaust back on and we're done. Well, what are we waiting for? Jags to open, or Earl's. Oh, Earl's, <laughs> Earl's, to open. Earl's to open. So we oh, yeah, we need a couple. Uh, we need one fitting. One fitting for the temp sensor for the cooler. And then... uh. Oh, did you get, we need some trans oil? We have some. Tranny fluid. You can't call it tranny fluid anymore. What do they call it? Transmission. Oh, transmission <laughs> fluid. Right on. Well, let's, uh, let's get, button all this stuff up, dude, and, uh. Let's make her Make run. her run over to Earl's and, uh, get some AN fittings. Yeah. Get some transmission fluid. I'm excited to see this thing scoot now. And see what happens. And then we'll go for a test drive. Test drive. Cool. Alright, we went to Earl's and bought... Some fittings. Some fittings. I think this cost $45. $45 minus the sensors. So it's nice you can go get it like on demand, like right there, but you definitely have to have a checkbook ready, right? Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> well, let's hook this thing up, dude. So we got our gauge sensor, and our thermostat for the cooling fan device. So those should be pretty simple, simple relays to wire up for that, and then that goes straight to the dash. Yeah. So uh, let's see what we can do. Let's do it. So I do have to say, if you are going to be cutting transmission line, or any kind of line. Like AN. AN line, this is good stuff. It's worth it to get yourself a good set of cutters. I know people use cutoff wheels, these all kind of things, but... Uh, if we open these, stick your hose in there. This thing is super sharp, makes a nice clean cut, makes your life a little bit easier. I think we got these on, I don't know, Amazon for like 50 bucks or whatever, but well worth it. So let's cut this stuff. So, I don't have it. Mount it here because it's easy. I think we're gonna need more room. I think I can figure out how to secure it later. You can tie it to the frame or something. So this one is going to the cooling device. This is the hardest thing in the whole wide freaking world, dude. Just don't spill any. I already spilled it. I ruined a pair of pants already. We got that off camera. Sure. I did. There's a lot of bleeping to do. We'll see. But we temporarily got the temp sender gauge in there. 
Notice the awesome wiring, the cool mount. It's called the zip tie, two zip ties. Just to make sure everything's good, temp's good. When we are up and running, shifter is ready to go. We're leaking you? Oh yeah, should we go under it for leaks? Yeah, let's see. Let's go under and see if we find any leaks. on the brake. Moment of truth. It's all that smoke. We have smoke. Um, this is what you get when you have to fill up with this stupid device. So yeah, we just dripped a little bit of transmission fluid on the headers. Yeah. That's alright. And we had some problems with our AN fittings. But uh, I think they're solved. Yeah. Time will tell and look. Let's take a look underneath. I don't see any more leaks underneath, so. Dude, let's check the fluid and go for, uh, see if you can find any gears. All right. Nothing's ever perfect. Of course, we got a little leak right here. That definitely does but, suck. Oh, we'll just snug it up, it'll be just fine. Hopefully the gasket's good. Well, that's a wrap for now. Super proud of this kid. He did it. It's in there. Uh, obviously, we did a little test drive, so just got a little fine tuning to do, right? Yeah, the pan sealed. It wasn't sealed perfectly from yeah. the rebuild, but uh, 
Yeah, a couple. Make sure the fan kicks on. Yeah, the fan, fan. The Jags fan is a killer. Yeah, it's pretty loud. So. It turns on pretty good. So, anyway, um, oh, what's next? What's next? I guess we should show him what's next. Flip up oh, that yeah. little label right there, just so you can see the side of it. What is? It? Yeah, we don't know what he's up to, but um, there is be a torque storm. In. Too, oh yeah. Check this out. The whole box of billet. Dude. Ooh, whole box of billet. So, more to come. Come on that. Stay tuned. Ooh. <laughs> Junkyard Jeep. <laughs> Junkyard Jeep. Ugly duck. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And we'll keep it posted on uh, what's next. Uh -huh. See ya.